Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of a very pleasant, well, hot Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 m update, and uh, like usual, we begin our day with a mixed bag out there. You've got the Dow trade up 170 points, S&P 5, NASDAQ 100 down 10, Russell's up 22, semis are up 66, Tranny's down 73. You've got gold trading off 16 bucks, silver's joined that, now down 19 pennies. Lights recruit is off 42 cents, natural gas up 3 pennies, 30 of treasury is down three ticks print out at 118.23 let's try to figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart we begin with the es mini upper left hand side the es mini looks like it wants to go target the 5678 level out there uh, that's its a to b equals cd initial price projection you don't see it here there's a road momentum indicator signal that's present all that means at least at this stage of the game is if there is a bearish reversal candle that would confirm a top spot volatilics Early in the morning, got all the way up towards the 50-day exponential moving average. The 50-day is at 1301. The high of the day was at 1291. As long as we remain below 1301, that provides an edge for the buyers of the S&P 500. The NQ on its way to 1.272 expansion of its A to B equals CD pattern. That next price projection level is at 2937. Like the ES Mini, it has a rose momentum indicator signal. Again, only problem is if it were to generate a bearish reversal candle. U.S. dollar index on Friday did find support where we thought it would, which was the bottom of its daily profile. That's been tested again this morning. That level or key level is at 104.52. If that area breaks, then we're likely headed back towards the lows of June out there. Goldilocks, usually we talk about the consolidation pattern. Turns out that what Friday did was created a consolidation with inside the consolidation. We got a doble gi consolidation pattern. So we've got resistance right now with regard to gold. We'll make that swing point high from uh, June the 7th. And that level's being 2406. We close above that. Then we're on our way up to the top of the larger consolidation pattern. Silver had a beautiful rally on Friday. That rally ran right into resistance that was a descending trend line still price remains bullish out there uh, our conditions are bullish is what i really should say as price remains above the top of its daily profile if we take a look at lights free crude no topping pattern just a consolidation with inside its profile it has a buy zone between 8061 and 8148 resists up at the 8409 level natural gas is going to form bar number nine of a td9 count that would suggest that we get a, a bottom today or tomorrow a bullish reversal can it would be a beautiful thing because that would confirm a one to two a to b equals cd pattern to the downside folks stay tuned for the trader zed show but if you have to start your monday have a magnificent one and we'll look forward to speaking with you again soon take care now